Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to write a C program to generate Fibonacci series. First of all, what is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. The first two numbers of the Fibonacci series are 0 and 1. Then we add 0 and 1 to get the third number 1. Next 1 plus 1 gives the fourth number 2. Next 1 plus 2 gives the fifth number 3 and so on. Basically, we have to add the second last number and the last number to get the next number. This is how you build a Fibonacci series. Our problem is to generate Fibonacci series up to a given limit. For example, if the limit is given as 8, then we should print 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8. Let us take another example, limit 14. Since 14 is not part of the series, we should generate the series up to the number less than 14. That is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8 and 13. Before we start coding, let us see the logic to generate Fibonacci series up to 5. Let us take three variables f1, f2 and f3. Initialize f1 to 0, f2 to 1 and f3 to 0. Then print the value of f3. You will get the first term that is 0. After printing the value of f3, copy the value of f2 to f1 that is f1 becomes 1. Then copy the value of f3 to f2 that is f2 equals 0. Then add f1 and f2 and store the result in f3 that is f3 equals 1 plus 0 equals 1. Then print the value of f3. We will get the second term that is 1. The same steps are repeated again. Copy f2 to f1 that is f1 equals 0. Copy f3 to f2 that is f2 equal 1. f3 equals f1 plus f2 that is 0 plus 1 equals 1. Then print f3. We got the third term that is 1. Repeat the same. Copy f2 to f1 that is f1 equals 1. Copy f3 to f2 that is f2 equals 1. f3 equal f1 plus f2 that is 1 plus 1 equal 2. Print f3. We got the fourth term that is 2. Copy f2 to f1 that is f1 equals 1. Copy f3 to f2 that is f2 equals 2. f3 equals f1 plus f2 that is 1 plus 2 equals 3. Print f3. We got the output 3. Copy f2 to f1 that is f1 equal 2. Copy f3 to f2, that is f2 equals 3. f3 equals f1 plus f2 equals 2 plus 3 equals 5. Print f3. We got the last term 5. Thus we got our sequence as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3 and 5. This is how we built our Fibonacci sequence. Let us now convert this logic to a flowchart. Our objective is to generate Fibonacci series up to n where n is the limit. We start. We do not know what is the value of n, so first read n. Then initialize f1 to 0, f2 to 1, f3 to 0, then print f3. Then copy f2 to f1, that is f1 equals f2. Copy f3 to f1, that is f2 equals f3. Add f1 and f2 and store the result in f3, that is f3 equals f1 plus f2. Again, print F3. These steps are repeated to generate each Fibonacci number. So this forms a loop. We need a termination condition for the loop. We continue the loop only if the value of F3 is less than n or equal to n. Once the value of F3 becomes greater than n, we stop the process. Hence, the termination condition is F3 less than or equal to n. If yes, continue the steps. If no, we have generated the series up to the given limit and we can now stop. Now let us translate this flowchart to C code. C program starts with the function main. Void main, 
then put open curly braces first step is read the limit n before reading the value we have to declare a variable to store the value so i give int n we require three more variables so i give int n comma f1 comma f2 comma f3 next step is to read the value of n we use the function scanf to read a value from the keyboard before reading give the prompt message printf enter the limit then write scanf percentage d ampersand n in order to use scanf and printf we have to include the header file stdio.h so before the main function write hash include stdio.h next step is to initialize f1 to 0 so write f1 equal to 0 next initialize f2 to 1 that is write f2 equals 1 next initialize f3 to 0 write f3 equals 0 next step is a condition here you can see that this condition is part of a loop we use while loop here while f3 less than or equal to n open curly brace now go to s part in the s part first step is print the value of f3 so write printf percentage t slash t comma f3 next f1 equal to f2 next f2 equals f3 then f3 equals f1 plus f2 now we have reached the end of the loop so close the loop with a curly brace now go to the no part no part it is stop so we close the curly brace of the main function now let us execute the program on a system first type the program in a text editor and save the file i have typed the program in notepad and saved as fibonacci.c i am using gcc compiler on windows 10 open the terminal compile the program using the command gcc fibonacci.c hyphen o fibonacci now run the executable file fibonacci input the limit as 8 we got the series up to 8 input the limit as 14 we got the correct output that is our program has been executed correctly